Hello, I hope everybody's doing great. So today I'm gonna to share with you a video that I've been trying to vi film for a few weeks. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been like kind of practicing filming my hands because that is an awkward position. But I, so I've been like filming unboxings and things, just trying to get more comfortable with it. So last weekend, I finally felt like I filmed it good enough to get the point across and I just didn't have time to edit it. But anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to separate these videos. So my idea is to share with you the products that I use during my manicure, but it just became so many products. So I needed to figure out uh, more of a streamline type of what and how I'm going to show, share it. Okay. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> So this video is going to be everything I use from like the start of painting my nails. So not my actual manicure, not the nail prep, but from like starting to taking off my nails, all my favorite products to use during that part of the deal. And then I want to film another video on everything that I need to do my actual manicures, to do my nail prep, to get everything um, cleaned up and ready for nail polish. And so, and then I'm thinking maybe a third part on just those odds and ends that are not necessities, but you love or I love. And so maybe a third part just to show the extras that didn't fit in the first two videos. Okay. I hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm wearing today. It's Red Eyed Lacquer Wilson and it's from February Polish Pickup 2024. These iridescent flakes have really been drawing me in lately. I think they are so pretty. Okay, let's talk about acetone first. So I do go through a lot of acetone. I I've always bought my acetone from Sally's. I do buy the big one gallon jug. It costs $27, but I store that in the bathroom and I have this 16 ounce bottle here. This is, I keep this, I refill this and keep this one in my nail area. They also have a 32 ounce bottle as well. So I use this bottle to refill my other <laughs> containers here that I use. I had this one in the shop, but it's leak, leaking every time I put it on its side. I'll bring that back and show you what I do with that one. But let's talk about this pump right here. So ignore the brand. I did go through a little phase of gel polish. So that's what this is. Cocoas is a gel polish brand. But the one I'm going to link below is from Sally's. That's the one I used for years and I really like it. Um, so this top is the exact same as Sally's top. So I've gotten a few over the years that are very similar to this, that have this plate on top, but then it's hollow in the center right here. And I don't like those. Now, that it's just my preference. I don't think they perform bad. I just prefer this solid top right here. The one from Sally's is like a different, um, I think it's, it's not round. It's a different, <clears throat> um, I can't think what shape it is, but either way, it has the same exact top. And I prefer this one, so I, I cut my rounds of these little triangles. And it just has great, it, it's just really sturdy. So that's the only reason why I prefer this one. But in general, I think pumps are so convenient. So this is my setup every time I go to paint my nails. I've got an orange wood stick here, my cleanup brush here, and I have a little stand to make it easier to, you know, keep, uh, have it on its side because see how there's space under here that way when my nails are wet I can pick it up and not worry about touching the um, towel and then I have a little dab and dish right here so that is what this other bottle is for so this is pure acetone in here and uh, I squeeze acetone into this little dab and dish right here it's the most convenient way for me to do cleanup because if I have a mess that I want to clean up right away. I just grab this brush and I can dip it into the acetone, tap a little bit off on my napkin, clean up, 
And then I could dip it back in and wipe it off. And then it's sitting there uh, as a clean brush right there, ready to go. So this is for me the way I've always done it. I mean, I've had this dab and dish for so, so long. This is like $2 at Sally's. So this, if you, so this one, I just got this one not too long ago. So I have recently got a fan that sits next to me and um, it's just super convenient to tap that fan on in between coats, but acetone does evaporate extremely fast. So I wanted something with the lid on it and this thing is just so stinking cute. So whenever I go to turn on my fan, I just put this little lid on my acetone so it doesn't evaporate as fast. I mean, it's not, you know, airtight. So it, I think it helps a little bit. It, it's either way, it's super cute. And also I do believe these are the same size dishes, but if you can see this one's so much lower, it makes it a little more convenient where I could see where my brush is going as opposed to this one is deeper. But this one's just fine. It's $2, super easy to get. But this one was under $5 on Amazon. There was a bunch of different type of shapes. Um, and so it's just super cute. <laughs> Couldn't resist it. So for my cleanup brush, this is a number 12 Anastasia brow brush. I did cut the spoolie off. This is the firm version. This is my favorite cleanup brush. I have a video on a review on a bunch of different cleanup brushes and a couple different eyebrow brushes. And this one is my absolute favorite, but I do have a couple versions that I really like that were a little bit cheaper than this one. And then this is my orange wood stick. I don't always use this, but I do always have it here because sometimes you get a glitter like right here in the crevice or underneath your nail and it does not want to come off. So I dip this in the acetone which I don't know if I really need to do that, but anyways, and then I just scrape it off with the orange wood stick. Okay, this is what I use for removal for every manicure, even if it's just cream polish. It just comes off so clean this way. So this is my favorite brand of cotton rounds. I've tried so many rounds and squares over the years, and these ones are my favorite, and I can get them at Costco now, so I love that because I use it more than just for nail care. But um, the reason why I like these so much is because you can see here, I do cut mine in fours and these are, the other ones leave so much like dust, cotton dust and lint everywhere when I'm cutting them up. And there, this is like, it's to a minimum. It's definitely there because they're not lint free but it really doesn't make a huge mess. So these are my favorite. Now I do have lint free wipes, but I use those in my nail prep. For now, for the polish remover, I prefer a like a regular cotton round. Okay, so these are all my little triangles cut up. This is just um, a little container with a lid from Ikea. So I take two rounds at a time and um, cut them into fours. And I just spend a little bit of time and fill this whole container up. That way I don't have to think about it for a while. And this is my nail clips right here. <clears throat> I just do one hand at a time. So I take these little triangles, load this thing up with acetone and clip this on. I do have a video of this um, where I'm wearing a glitter nail polish and I had it on for like three or four days. So it was really on there. And I timed it for four minutes in that video and you could see it came right off with a little zhuzhing back and forth. So with, you know, a nail polish with just flakes or a cream polish, it really won't take that long at all. But the other reason why I do it this way is because it's so much cleaner. So even if it's just cream polish or flaky polish, when you take this off, you know, it's stuck to your hand. Normally you take the little thing off the clip off and it's stuck to your hand and you kind of zhuzh it back and forth a little bit and then wipe it and then all of it is in here for the most part you know it's not perfect but it's a whole lot cleaner and that's why I love this method so let's talk about oils so I have my cleanup brush back out because this is how I clean my brush every time before I put it away 
I have this little bottle of water. I spray it on the tips here, um, clean it off on the towel, and then I take any oil. I would use any oil for this. So this is just a cheap oil that I got from Sally's. I probably paid $2 for it, but it does smell really good. So I just dab a little bit of this on the back of my hand here. And then I use, I like paint the brush and then I use my fingers and guide down the tip, get it sharp before I put it away. That's the only thing I use this for. I don't use this as an actual cuticle oil. Okay, so these are the oils that I actually use on my cuticles. This first one is Cuccio. So this one does not have jojoba oil in it, but jojoba oil is not the only oil that can penetrate your nail polish and into your nail bed. So the oils in here claim that they do that as well. So whether they do it as good as some of these more, more expensive ones, probably not. But this one is very cost effective. You can get it from Amazon. They smell amazing. I like these giant bottles and it has this little thing where it sits on its side. So it's really easy to use to get at the bottom of the bottle. But so anyways, I use a lot of this stuff. So I, I like that it's cheaper. Before I do any dishes, nail prep, or sometimes my husband likes to wash the cars on the weekends, I always put gloves on. And that's when I use the Cuccio oil. I load my cuticles up with this stuff, put gloves on, and I feel like I'm doing a little mini treatment on my nails. But because I do, you know, I'm in the kitchen all the time, so I am using this quite a bit. So because it's so much cheaper, I don't feel like I'm, you know, I don't feel guilty for wasting a bunch of it. Okay, these are the cuticle buddy. So I just heard about these at the end of last year, like, you know, by the time I was looking into the indie polish world and that's when this came up. So these do have a hobo oil in them. They do cost a little bit more. I do think these are great oils, but that's just my opinion. It's not fact-based, <laughs> but it is obviously a fact that a hobo oil is great for your nails, your cuticle beds. But so... These are really, besides the quality of the oil, the packaging is really cute. So I first fell in love with this whole setup right here. So this is the actual cuticle buddy. This is the refill. So these come, whatever scent you pick. So this is a coffee scent. So it has this brown thing on the outside. It has, um, this one's all used up, but it has these brown, hmm, I don't want to say they're just rocks because I think they might be nicer than just rocks, but I, they're not gems. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But And then the roller ball in here also matches. So the whole setup is super cute. So this other one is the, um, this one's black vanilla bean. So it has little black rocks in there. And then I think if there's an ocean scent that has little mini shells in there. So the whole... You know, the whole thing is cute, but I cannot stand this thing. It is super cute. I even have another one where I cut this little thing off so I could still keep the rubber on there, but I just hate it. It's cute, but I can't stand it. So I, oh, I just take mine off, <laughs> but I do want to say I have these all throughout the house. So I have one of these in my, um, in a bag, in my purse. And I have never had any issue with these leaking. So I've had, I've gone through multiple bottles and none of them have leaked. Like this little one, this one right here, you would think I wouldn't have so much issue because it does screw on just like nail polish. But just when I had it sitting here for the video, it did leak out a little bit. I've never had that problem with these. Okay, and this is the refill. This bottle is really cool and it's solid black. Um... I think they all are black. No matter what scent, I think they are all black to protect the oil. And you know, it has this, the same topper to match this. And inside this one is a dropper, just like the Cuccio oil. So I use this one. I just keep the refill bottle on my um, desk back there. And I use this after I do my nails. And then I just use this, you know, on. I have one next to the couch because I put them on all day. So these are the lotions I use. This first one is definitely a luxury for me. 
I love the way it smells. It's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and it's so silky soft. And this container is so stinking cute. It came with this um, rubbery spatula to, to scoop it out. So this is definitely something I do as a luxury after I do my manicures. And I put a bunch of oil on, I slather this on and go sit on the couch and feel happy about my life. <laughs> but this is the lotion that I use all throughout the day, every day. So I put my oil on and I probably put way too much on, but I love it. I rub it in and it smells amazing. And then I go right in after that with this lotion. So for me, these two combine really well. The lotion helps the oil seep into my hands and then I don't have greasy hands. And this dries up pretty fast so I don't have sticky hands. The only thing is, you know, the oil smells super great and this has no scent at all. But I love these two together. I have this set up in my purse and the exact same setup next to me on the couch and I use them all day. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope um, it was a little helpful. I know for me, I really love watching videos like this. I used to read tons of nail polish blogs and I just get like little tips and tricks here and there and then I create my own routine. So just let me know if you have any questions about anything I talked about or if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about in my next video because I will be making at least, like I said, one or two more of these videos. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.